What's going on guys? So you decided to join the army and you're curious about what your mornings are going to be like at basic training and that is why you're watching this video. So today I'm going to talk about the mornings and basic training basically going from when you, the time you wake up to the time PT is over and that is basically your morning up until breakfast which is just breakfast and then you know you're going to begin your training. Um, so basically what is a morning a typical morning like at basic training you're gonna wake up in our case usually around four th or you gotta be ready by 4 30 in the morning so we would wake up at about four o'clock right so the fire guard would usually be the ones that um, are the guys that wake everybody up and they'll turn the light on or in some cases drill sergeants don't want you to turn the lights on because for some crazy reason they're just like don't turn the lights on so you have to get ready in the dark. So what happens is somewhere around four o'clock or whenever y'all have to wake up, um, your fire guard's gonna go around and they're gonna wake everybody up. They're gonna nudge you and be like, hey, get ready. And the thing that you wanna do um, is get up as quickly as possible. And if you're a guy, go to the bathroom and uh, shave and you know brush your teeth and do all that stuff because you wanna be one of the first guys to do that because Let's say, for example, I think there was 16 sinks. There was like 16 sinks, 16 showers, or no, there was 12, my bad. There was 12 sinks, 12 showers, and 12 toilets, right? And then there was also 48 people in my platoon. So in the morning, you have 48 people trying to use 12 sinks. And so you wanna be one of the first ones there. So if you're the first one done, you can go ahead and get changed and get ready and be downstairs. Um, at the area wherever you're supposed to be at for your little formation so um, this kind of ensures that you you know don't be late for your formation and for PT um, so once everybody gets down you're gonna again you're gonna wake up you're gonna go shave do all that stuff you'll have a few minutes to do that and you'll have plenty of time depending on how early you want to wake up you'll get down and do the little morning formation now for us, we had um, different little platoon formations and it would be like a little... Now for us, we would get into our little platoon formation and me as the PG, I would get accountability of all of my soldiers, make sure everybody's here, make sure everybody's downstairs, um, make sure everybody has their weapons, that's a really big thing. So you'll count the people, you'll count the weapons and um, I'll let the drill sergeant know and then we'll basically march off and I'll march everybody over to go to PT. Now we did PT in a big sand pit basically. Um, for you, you might be on the grass, but for us we were in the sand which just sucked even worse. Um, so I'll line everybody up for PT and we'll get ready to do PT. Then we will do the preparation drill, the different conditioning drills and for example, now, if it was a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which is a running day, you would do your little preparation drill. And the drill, I can't remember the name of it right now, but you would do your drill just to kind of warm yourself up and you do kind of like high knees and stuff like that, just, just really basic stuff. And then you'll go on and do the run. Now, there was a couple different variations that your run could be. You could be doing an AGR run, which is an ability group run, which is where they will split you up into Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie groups based on your PT test runtime. Uh, a group was gonna be the fastest, then B, then C. Um, and basically you're gonna run a certain speed and distance based on that group. So if you're in A group, you're gonna be running the farthest, probably around three miles. Sometimes you might run, might run more. Um, and you're gonna be running at a fairly fast pace. Um, if you're in B group, you're gonna be running, I don't know, two and a half miles for example and you're gonna be running at a little bit of a slower pace and if you're in C group you're probably gonna run about two miles at a slower pace right um, so that's basically how an AGR run works the other kinds of runs that we will do will be 30 60s and 61 20s um, the way that is or the way that works is you will run for 30 seconds and walk uh, you'll run for 30 seconds and walk for 60 seconds that's a 30 60 and if you're doing a 60, 120, you will run for 60 seconds and you will walk for a minute and 20 seconds. Now the running for 60 seconds and the running for 30 seconds, this is not just like a regular old run. 
you're supposed to be running a full all out sprint and you know, you'll really need that 60 seconds or two minutes to get your breath back because you should be running as hard as, I can, as hard as you can. In my case, I always did that. And you would generally do, I think we would do about 10 61 20s, which usually ends up being about two miles and then 30 60s. I have no clue how many we did, probably double that. Um, but you're probably gonna do about two miles of running regardless every day for your running days, if not a little bit more. So I forgot to mention the muscle failure days, which is a Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know inject this little clip of the video in wherever I decided to put it when I'm editing. So on a muscle failure day, I already talked about running days, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Your muscle failure days are gonna be Tuesday and Thursday. The way this is gonna work is you're gonna do your regular preparation drill. You're going to do um, either your different conditioning drills, one and two, or you're going to do the push-up sit-up drill and your mountain climbing drills. Um, I'd say most of the time we did the push-up sit-up drill, which is literally just push-ups and sit-ups, and then you're going to do the climbing drill. And the way that works is you will split up um, the company. The company will be split up. Two platoons will start with the push-ups and sit-ups, and two platoons will go over and do the climbing drills. Push-ups and sit-ups, this is kind of how that works. So for PT in the morning, Muscle failure day, push up and sit up drill is going to go essentially exactly like this. You're going to turn around in your formation and you're going to face the guy behind you or in front of you. And one of you is going to be picked, uh, the even number rows or the odd number, odd number rows will be picked to go first. And you will get down and do two minutes of push ups, which is basically like a PT test where the other guy um, is going to be, you know, telling you what you're doing, you know, how, counting how many push-ups and stuff you're doing. And then once you're done with your two minutes, you're going to switch, you're going to count the other guy's push-ups, and that's how that's going to go. After he's done, you're going to switch over and do sit-ups. Then the first guy who went will do two minutes of sit-ups, then the next guy will go and do two minutes of sit-ups. And then generally we would decrease the time by 30 seconds. So then you will do another round of a minute and 30 seconds of push-ups and then a minute and 30 seconds of sit-ups, and then you would drop it down to a minute of push-ups, a minute of sit-ups. I think we did maybe 45 seconds every now and then, and then um, a 30 seconds of push-ups and 30 seconds of sit-ups. Now, if you know you can't do a full like two minutes of push-ups and then right after do a minute and a half of push-ups, what they want you to do, and kind of the purpose of this is to go to failure no matter what. So you're gonna do two minutes of push-ups, and if you actually really try, you're gonna be burnt out and once you get to the minute and a half of push-ups, which will only be like two minutes later, you're gonna be basically dead tired and you'll make it you know, 30 seconds. And what the drill sergeants want you to do is to keep pushing and not quit and to drop down to your knees and do push-ups on your knees, um, which are girl push-ups, but they help out a lot. So like if you're, if you're going to failure on normal push-ups, if you drop to your knees and knock out a couple more, that's really gonna help you out a lot. Now sit-ups, you just need to do as many as you, as you can. There's really no way to um, do a half sit-up, but just you know, do sit-ups as much as you can. Now, um, once you get done with that little section, you're gonna switch with the climbing drills, and you're gonna go over and do the climbing drills. What the climbing drills consist of is a few pull-ups. They're really not a whole lot of pull-ups, but um, the first exercise you're gonna do is the straight arm pull. And, all this really is, is you're hanging from the pull-up bar like this and you pull your shoulders up, right? So you basically are contracting your lats, but you're not actually bending your elbows to do a full-on pull-up. Um, if you bend your elbows and stuff like that, drill sergeants kind of yell at you and they're like, you know, stop doing that. It's really just kind of like a warm-up for your shoulders and your, and your lats just to get you prepared. The next thing is going to be the heel, the heel hook which is kind of like a, um, an ab exercise, which it is an ab exercise, but you're gonna hang from the pull-up bar with the alternating hands, and you're going, to, you're gonna be hanging there, and you're gonna lift your feet up over the bar and bring them back down. You're gonna lift your feet up over the bar and bring them back down. Now, the number of repetitions you're gonna do for all of these is five. Um, it's really not that difficult, but you're gonna do five. Sometimes the drill sergeants want you to do more and the way they'll do that is let's say somebody is doing a heel hook doing the heel hook exercise and they can't lift their feet over the bar 
well, the drill sergeants are going to be like, oh, we're going to keep on going until they, until that person who can't do them does five. Now, you do have people spotting you, so you can kind of, if somebody can't lift their feet up over the bar, they will assist them to help. Um, but sometimes you end up doing, you know, 10 or, you know, sometimes 15. And sometimes you end up just hanging from the bar for forever because you're, somebody's, the drill sergeants are just waiting on somebody or they're yelling at somebody. So that's kind of how that's going to work. The next exercise is just going to be the regular old pull-up. Um, you're going to do five pull-ups. It's nothing hard. Some of you cannot do pull-ups, which I suggest being able to at least do a five push -up, uh, pull up before you leave for basic training because you're going to have to do that pretty much every week. Um, so you're going to do five pull-ups, and it's not really just going to be quick pull-ups. This is kind of how it works. You're going to hang from the pull-up bar. The drill sergeant will say up, down, and you'll lift like that. Up down and so you're not really just repping out pull-ups the way it works is you move whenever they say for you to move so whenever they say up you go up and sometimes they might just pause for a while let's say they pause for 10 15 seconds you're holding yourself up on the pull-up bar for 15 seconds and you're real tired and then you go down and then you're hanging you have to hang there for a little bit while drill sergeant is talking to somebody or doing something else and then he'll say up again so most of the time your five pull-ups are generally going to be more difficult than just regular five pull-ups if you were to knock them out but that's how that works and again you have people assisting you you know let's say grabbing your feet um, and helping you do a pull-up if you cannot do a pull-up yourself the next exercise for the climbing drills is going to be called the leg tuck which is similar to the heel hook where you're going to be alternating your hand grip on the bar and basically what you're going to do is if you're hanging here like this you want to lift your knees up to your elbows and you're going to hold it there for just a second and then you're going to go down. And then you're going to lift your knees up to your elbows, you're going to hold it there for a second, then you're going to go down. Um, so that's basically all of that one is, is, is again, it's kind of like an ab workout. The next exercise is going to be the alternating grip pull up, which is exactly what it says it is. You have an alternating grip like this, whichever side you prefer, and you're going to do a pull up basically to where your chin is going over the bar. Um, if you have any other questions of how, you know, what these exercises exactly look like, this is called the Climbing Drill 1 or CL1. Um, the other drills were called the Preparation Drill and the Recovery Drill. That is the final drill that you will go over. You can look these things up over the, on the internet, but I kind of wanted to give you guys a little explanation of what you're actually going to be doing. Now, once that's over with, you're going to do your cool down drill. Um, or recovery drill, which is just some basic stretching and stuff like that. And at this time, you're, it's going to be about 545, right? So when you're done with PT, it's going to be about 545. PT generally starts around 445 to 5 o'clock. So you have about an hour of PT. And breakfast for us was at 6 o'clock. So let's say we got done with PT at 545. We're on the PT field at 545. And then we have to be ready for breakfast and be there at six o'clock so literally some days we would sprint we would be done with our run and we would be done with the recovery drill and we would sprint over to the barracks and shower and change and stuff like that and then be back downstairs um, because you have very very little time um, sometimes you have no time to um, shower like for example let's say Again, we're on the sand, which sucks. So after we're done with PT and doing all that stuff, and you're laying in the sand, it's all in your head and your clothes and everything, um, you have five minutes. Let's say it's uh, 5.55, and you have to be at breakfast at 6 o'clock. Well, you're going to go up to your barracks, and you have no time to change whatsoever. You might run into the bathroom sink and you know wash your head off real quick, but you may not even have time to do that. All you really have time to do is take your PT clothes off and put your... Uh, OCP uniform on in y'all's case and be back downstairs so that's kind of how the morning works for that sometimes if you have a little bit more time you will march as a platoon back over to your company area and then you will be released to go upstairs and I would say the maximum amount of time I ever had to shower um, at basic training in the morning was probably around the two to three minute mark I don't think I ever um, on a Monday through Friday 
had more than two to three minutes to shower if I had time to shower because I'd say in most cases you had about 15 minutes to get ready so in 15 minutes to get ready if you're one of the first ones upstairs uh, to your barracks you can jump in the shower for two minutes dry off real quick and then you'll have about 10 minutes to change so that's how that's gonna work and you're really not gonna have time to have really you know you know oh, I love taking long nice hot showers you you may not even have hot showers in some cases some of you might not um, but that's basically how that's gonna work and how much time you're gonna have now once you get back downstairs again you're gonna get in a little platoon formation and you're gonna be in my case I will I would or the platoon leader would march you off to the defac where you would have breakfast and that's it for this video so if you enjoyed it if you liked it if you thought it was fairly informative and you and it answered your questions about the mornings at basic training please like the video if you have any more questions leave your comments down below subscribe if you want to check out uh, my future videos about basic training or everything else that I've done in my military career so far uh, make sure you subscribe and stick around for that so if you enjoyed like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later Try.